stop, you're gonna get tased, lady. Alright, get on the ground. Whoa, look at that crash. Hey. Ow. 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 You didn't have to do this. I just wanted to talk to you. Okay. She's coming out of the car. Down, dude. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of uh, Devil Plays LSPD Farms. Today, on this rainy, rainy afternoon, we are headed back out with the uh, Blaine County Sheriff's Office. I have not yet changed the Blaine County cars at all. There's still the uh, Maricopa County-based uh, pack that I had before. I, I really like this pack. I think we drove a, uh, I don't know what the Sheriff unit's doing. I think we drove a uh, Charger, or I'm sorry, a uh, Ford Taurus last time. This time we're going to drive the Charger. Uh, we're going to get out here and see what we can do. Uh, take some calls, do some uh, do some traffic. Look at this idiot riding a bike in the rain. That sucks. Anyway, uh, see what we can generally get into. Uh, still no update to Script Hook as of the production of this video, so we are still on the uh, we are still on the uh, the workaround. And again, if you need that information. Feel free to contact me. I'm more than happy to help. But uh, we might stick to the south and uh, east part of the county. I don't know. Just going to try to see where the day takes us. So let's go ahead and get started. White cars blew that stop sign. Big shock there. Get behind him here. I'm real happy this guy making me get out in the rain run a stop sign right in front of me. How hard is it to just stop, you know? Speaking of stopping, why don't you go ahead and do that? Now he's crossing the center. Now he's... Alright, so we're stopping out in front of the gas station here. Right in front of the entrance. You're an idiot, dude. Show me on a stop. Show me on a stop. 10-4 is backup required. Negative. 10 4, proceed with caution. Right, so we got a fugitive, 46, Ocean Union Union 567. Adam Lund, 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 I guess, is the uh, RO. Bowed and clear on the vehicle. And bowed and clear on Adam as well. Alright, let's go, man. Let's go have a talk with him. Hey bud, how you doing today? My name's uh, Deputy Devin with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Reason for the stop today is the uh, stop sign you ran back there coming off of Joshua and turned on to 68. Uh, looks like we are getting some uh, alcohol indicators off of restricted pupils. He seems happy though, so that's nice for him. Dispatch sent me back up. Alright, we'll, 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 we'll call for backup in a minute. I like to have two on a drunk stop. You got your ID on you, you sir? Got your ID. Thanks. All right, so we've confirmed we're dealing with Adam Lund, questioning menu. You know why I pulled you over today? Was the failure to stop. Failed to come to a complete stop. Actually, didn't even try to come to a stop. My house isn't that far from here. I was just trying to get home quicker. Okay, well, it's raining out, and you not stopping could have caused a serious accident. You pulled right out in front of me. I had to slow down. So, where are you coming from today, man? Those lights are bright. Can you turn them off? Um, they're really not that bright, sir. Um ask him honestly. Sir, have you been drinking? I haven't been drinking at all. Okay. Alright, because I'm getting some uh, some intoxication indicators off of you here. So, uh, whoops. What I'm asking you to do is go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me. Dispatch, send to me back up. Backup required on Route 60. Yeah. Hold up! Alright, so what we're going to do is just kind of walk him off the road yeah, here. So, you can see him sitting there, and he just kind of spawns in and sits. So what you got to do is use backspace, hold it down, and spawn him in. And you'll see he just kind of appears behind me and levitates into place. So there's something wrong with the, with the driving, and I'm pretty sure it's related to the, the plugin that I'm using to make up for not having script hook. But anyway. Alright, so let's talk to this guy here. Okay, so you said you hadn't been drinking. I'm going to ask you again, dude, because I'm pretty sure you're lying to me. Have you been drinking? Oh, gosh, I shouldn't have drunk today. Yeah, that's 
kind of what I thought, man. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run some uh, sobriety tests, okay? I don't want to take any tests. Okay. Do you want to take a breathalyzer? Okay, so you don't mind taking a breathalyzer. Okay, well, I don't, I don't know what that was, but all right. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a breathalyzer test. Just put your mouth on this tube and blow till I tell you to stop, okay? All right, so blow, blow, blow. Okay, that's enough. Thank you. Thanks. Point zero eight five. So he is, uh, he is over the limit. All right, sir. Go ahead and turn around and put your hands on your back for me. You are under arrest. You're for, under uh, arrest, you piece of crap. Uh, for operating a vehicle under the influence of alcohol. Uh, you do have the right to remain silent. You say can will be against the court of law. Right to an attorney. On, uh, if you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you by the state of Santa Grace. Do you understand these things I've just explained to you? Here is it. Am I free to go? No, you are not free to go, sir. You are under arrest. Do you have anything on you that I need to know about? Go back up go this way. Anything on you I need to know about? Yes, okay. And is there anything in the vehicle you want to tell me about? You're not sure. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and patch you down now, sir. That deputy is soaked. That's why I need to bring rain gear to work. Alright, so he's got shaved keys, a duffel bag containing zip rope, zip that rope, zip ties, and a ski mask on him somehow. I don't know what's going on with that. We weren't having this issue before. I don't know why it's doing the vehicle stuff on the people. Anyway, a blood sugar test, getting a train ticket to Blaine County, so. The shaved keys are, are a criminal tool, but not necessarily. We didn't catch him do anything with them that, uh, we didn't really catch him do anything with them that would allow me to charge him as such. All right, so I'm gonna place you at the back of my vehicle, okay? Just want you to hang out for me. Okay, I thought he was about to run. It's because this sign's in the way. There we go. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and search the car. Making me get out in the rain, man. Of course, I'm complaining. Look at her. I had a can of wintergreen stuff, a duffel bag containing rope, zip ties, and ski mask. Okay. That's suspicious, but not something I can charge him with. Dispatch requesting a tow truck. Tow truck. Assistance required. All right, so, uh, um, really, he's just going for OBI. Uh, I'll still write him his ticket for uh, running uh, running that stop sign as well. But uh, pretty easy drunk stop. And we'll get back out on the road and see what else is going on in the county today. We'll be back. We're back here in Harmony, and there's a guy just standing over there on the side of the road. See what that's about. Oops. Dispatch, show me out with one. Ten four. Hey, you. What are you doing, Leo. man? Come here. Why don't, you, why don't you come over here so we can talk, man? All right, cool. Come here. Come here. Let's talk. What are you doing standing out in the middle of the road like that, man? What's your name? Got your ID on you, buddy? It is pissing down rain on here, and you're just standing Thanks. in the middle of the road. He's nervous and sweating. What's this guy's name? Uh, Cotone? Cotone -za. Um, okay, sure. Dispatch requesting record check. Common spelling on Kahatane Zaw dispatch. Hey, he's got a suspended license, no active warrants, okay. So let's just ask him, dude, what are you, uh, what are you doing out here, man? I choose not to answer your effing questions. Okay, dude. That's no reason to be hostile like that, dude. Do you have anything on you? Anything on you I need to know about? Absolutely not. Okay, can I go ahead and pat you down? Okay, alright, dude, I appreciate that. Now turn around, put your hands up for me, put them on your head. Don't move, don't do anything dumb, I don't want to hurt you. He's got nothing on him. Okay, Mr. Zaw, um, I'm just going to ask you to move on. You can't stand in the middle of the road like that. Uh, I'm not going to give him a ticket or anything. So, alright, dude, time for you to go. Have a good day, sir. Go on! Blast! All kinds of crazy stuff going on in Harmony today. I mean... What's the deal with that? Why is my window down, too? That's dumb. Now my car is soaked. Anyway.
Yeah, we're gonna go talk to him. I wasn't. I wasn't gonna do it. I wasn't until he rammed that truck and took off. And now he just rammed that other vehicle there. All right, let's get him out of the car. Stop! Police! Stop! Stop whatever the hell you're doing! You right there, sir! Stop! On your knees, put your hands behind your head. Ma'am, I didn't actually want you, you to stop. You never getting out of prison. Hey, you having a seizure up there? All right, let's get him. Go ahead and grab him here. Uh, we're gonna grab him. And then we're going to actually just stop traffic for a little while. All right. Because this road is hereby closed. Now let's get him over here real quick. Keep him right here. And I'm going to I'm gonna take her into custody. But I'm not going to leave her. I mean, I'm going to leave her handcuffed, but only because I, I have to. Or she'll leave. You're under arrest, you piece of crap. I thought a girl. That's a guy. Long hair. My bad. We out with this MBA now. But he struck another truck back there somewhere and was spinning his tires, just driving like a complete idiot. And he looked kind of drunk when he got out of the car, too, so we'll check on that as well. Sir, so you just hang out. In fact, I'm going to be a real nice guy here. This guy's probably not a criminal. He wouldn't normally do such a thing. But. So you can have a seat in my, uh, you can have a seat in the front seat of my, uh, my patrol vehicle here so you can stay dry, okay? I know it's I know it's really pissing down rain out here, so go ahead and just have a seat here. Just hang out. I don't wanna to try to like uncuff him and restop him. You guys know how that goes sometimes. Let's talk to this idiot. Alright, dude. What are you doing? It's none of your damn business. Okay, well why did you why did you do that? Why did you just run into all those people? Get my supervisor. No, I don't think I need my supervisor, dude. Uh have you been drinking? How dare you ask me this? It's an event for me. I don't really care if you're offended or not, dude. Are you on drugs? Drugs are the worst. All right, dude, whatever. Do uh, you have anything on you I need to know about? Absolutely not. Okay. Anything in your vehicle I should know about? Do you know who I am? I don't care who you are, sir. It was a yes or no question. All right, let's go ahead and pat him down. So you're under arrest for leaving the scene of an accident at this time. Be aware of that. All right, so he's got a blood-stained rag, a ticket to Blaine County, a train ticket to Blaine County, a, vet, a veteran's ID card, a prescribed asthma inhaler, and a, a Sig P a Sig P two bleh, a Sig P three twenty, and a pair of gloves. All right, does he have a? Uh, he's got a gun. He has no gun permit. Okay, so that's not good for him. Um, let's see here. Right, so why'd you lie to me, dude? I asked you if you had anything I needed to know about. Am I? You are not free to go. You are under arrest. You got a handgun on you too, man. I really don't appreciate you not telling me about having a gun on you. Um, all right. So here's here's what we're gonna do. Usually. Oh wait, I forgot. Oh, no, we're gonna let him go. Let's do the observation thing on him to see if we get the intoxicant in, in indicators. I think he's drunk. No, we're not getting any intoxication indicators from him. I'm still going to uh, see if he'll let me do a breathalyzer, though. No, okay, that's fine. Uh, he looked drunk when he got out of the car. I'm, I'm still going to take him for OBI. Apparently, this is the day of OBI arrests. Uh, I'm going to grab him and put him in the back of our car. Normally, I wouldn't put him in the back of this guy in the front. What we are going to do is search his car and then tow it, and then I'm going to let the guy in the front go. Oh, there's someone else in his car. Hey, hop out that car for him. No, no, no. I didn't realize he had a passenger. Damn. Hop out the car for me. Stop doing that. Stop opening the door. It's ridiculous. Okay. 
There we go. I didn't want to be so rough with you, but wow, hold up. Sorry about that. Questioner, can you tell me what happened there? What's wrong with your driver, man? Do I let that go do your own investigation work? Okay. All right, that's fine. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you go ahead and turn around and put your hands around your back for me? You're you not under arrest, but you are being prison. detained until I can figure out what's going on here. Requesting female officer. Assistance required oh. in Grande Sonora Desert. We're just going to get her out here. The, uh, I think this is going to be bad. Okay, there we go. That's kind of what I thought was going to happen. <laughs> All right. Send her over here. She should watch her. Yep, okay. I'm gonna search the car before we do anything with her. She can just stand in the rain for a little bit. See if we got anything in here. Uh, case of piss washer logger. I saw the passenger side. There's another high point in the car. A postcard from Liberty City, a barbecue grill and various accessories. There's a high point model JCP in the trunk. And a beach towel. So, another gun in the car. That one wasn't ready at hand, so I can't really do anything with that one. Dispatch requesting tow truck. It's pretty beat up. Call Back up needed. Um, Let's get our other motorist back to his vehicle. Oh. Alright, so he's gonna fight me now. We're gonna tase him, but we're gonna pretend like that didn't happen. Because apparently getting them out of the apparently getting them out of the front does that. Okay, he appears to be good. Let's see if we can stop him again. All right, I hate to do it this way, but LSPD, don't make me shoot you. We'll just pretend like we didn't tase him. Stop, police. Okay, this will work. LSPD, freeze. Then he should pop back up to his feet. Yep, there we go. So we're gonna question him real quick. Uh, see if he needs medical assistance or anything. Do you need any medical assistance? I'd like an ambulance, please. Okay. All right. So we will go ahead and just, I don't know how this is gonna work, but we will send him with the ambulance. Assistance required oh. in Grande Sonora Desert. Yeah, and it's also just sitting there, isn't it? All right, that'll work. So we'll go ahead and just tow his car too, then. Dispatch requesting tow truck. I have a flatbed for it. Flatbed, backup needed. That one appears to be working okay. All right, let's deal with this now. My taser away. Let's deal with her now, since she wants to be mouthy. We can. Do you have anything on you I need to know about? You can't do this to me. I'm going to sue you. All right. Yeah, but you go ahead and pat her down for me. All right, so she's got a pair of panties, an empty Valiant bottle, a can of cherry, can of cherry snuff, a water gun, several rounds of ammunition, and a Tide baggie with suspected crack cocaine inside. Well. Okay, then. Jesus. The ambulance fell over. The truck has gone nuts. It's all gone bad. It's all gone terribly bad here. Where'd she go? Hey! Wait, wait to watch her, deputy. Stop. Wait up! No, damn it. Hey. Stop. No dispares. Please don't. Stop whatever the hell you're doing! Okay, come on. Let's do this thing. Police! Let's see some hands up! Now, hopefully she'll lay down and then spring back up. Like the other guy did. Okay, apparently. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna grab her. And put her, uh, in my car. I'm gonna test that crack. Uh, we're gonna get her in the car before she tries to walk off. 
let that other guy go to. This is uh, turning into just one thing after the other, ain't it? What is she? Okay, there we go. Sir, you can, uh, I I was just kidding. I really wasn't talking to you, so you're, you're free to go. All right, off you go. All right. Um, okay. So, let's test that crack, and then that'll be about it for for this. I'm gonna pull off the road here, and then uh, open up. Well, the tow truck never actually. Hang on, this is probably a bad idea, but there we go. You're good, you're good. It'll get the truck. There we go. Look at that. Now we can clear traffic control and we get the we get the road open again. Except for her car's blocking the road, but I'm just gonna dismiss her actually. Maybe she'll drive away. Maybe she. All right, test this crack. Jesus, this has just been ridiculous. Oops, not that this. There we go. Trunk here. Baggy. Crack. Okay. So, so far, she's going for, um, probably this crack. He's going for leaving the scene of an accident, driving under the influence. Uh, she's going for resisting, or probably, probably obstruction in addition to this crack that we just determined is actually a crack. Um, but all right, we'll go ahead and, uh, we'll get them charged, and then, uh, see if we can find something else to do out here in the county on this rainy, rainy day. Stay tuned. We'll be back. All right, everybody. I think that's going to actually just about do it for our ship. The rain starting to slack off here, and those last two incidents were kind of long, so I didn't really want to push this one too terribly long. Uh, but we do have three people to deal with their court system stuff here. So uh, we have uh, first was at Adam Lund. That was our uh, drunk driver that we had out there. He ran that stop sign back there. Basically, we spent our entire patrol in the area of Harmony and Joshua. I'm sorry, in Harmony, in the area of 68 Joshua. But anyway, we charged him with driving under the influence. And he was sentenced to 11 months in jail. And then we had uh, Ashley Hunter. That was the passenger in the crazy driver vehicle we had. She had that crack cocaine on her. It was, it, we, we did test it to ensure that it was uh, obstruction of official business. She you know, attempted to walk off on us, well, from us while she was in handcuffs, in addition to failure to comply, since we told him to stop and she didn't. Um, and that's going to be three years and one month in prison, or in, yeah, in prison for her. And then her, uh, the driver of that vehicle was uh, driving under the influence. In addition, we didn't see this at the time, but he actually did have a suspended license as well. So we got him for driving under, the, driving under suspension as well as leaving the scene of the accident. So we watched him uh, scrape a vehicle turning on to 68 and then strike a vehicle on 68. And so, two years and six months for him. Uh, all in all, a uh, pretty slow but uh, productive day. I want to thank everybody for joining me. Uh, as always, you know, if you haven't, hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, really helps me out when you do. I appreciate it. Um, in addition, you join us on Discord, like us on Facebook. I want to interact with you guys. Let me know what you want to see more of. Um, going to be doing four GTA episodes a week, like I've mentioned before, so I'm really looking forward to that. But uh, all right, guys, well, thanks for watching, and as always, uh, stay safe out there.